Hi guys, um, I found this modder here anyway. Um, I found a couple of features that are, well, a couple of apps that are uh, going to be handy for you on your Shield TV, uh, Shield Android TV, should I say? Uh, basically, there's side launcher, side load launcher, even so. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of that, but I'll basically show you what it is. It is an application that allows you to. Uh, list all your side loaded apps in tile format uh, I obtained it from this app here called APK Pure uh, but yeah as you can see it doesn't list every single one for some reason it doesn't list Air Console for some unknown reason uh, maybe one or two others as well but uh, you can see what I've got here anyway <laughs> uh, lots of these are paid games you know they're not um, download games as in illegally downloaded I have paid for those games uh, but uh, APK Pure it's a very handy application go to the website and obtain that from them in the download um, section um, Android download sorry will download for Android uh, but um, let's just show you so this is side load launcher <coughs> I have to obtain that sorry so quick search there we have just done um, here is the controller where we go and the mouse and keyboard which I use you can click the mouse on the uh, magnifying glass the search icon and then we have this one side loader side launcher and it's actually things that doesn't work so hit the search API on the uh, required icon which you may not see but I can it's directly in front of the, the search icon in the tab um, but yeah that's it Side load, side load launcher, Android TV. See, so yeah, I've got it pre-installed already, so you can uh, just run that. A couple of other things there, and you've got hand launcher as well. That's um, quite good, but mm, I prefer the side load launcher because it's just simple and easy to use. Uh, another one which I have downloaded, which I wanted a web browser that used voice control, which the built-in one for God knows what reason it just doesn't use. Uh, voice control. Uh, it does in order to search for videos on a Shield TV, but it doesn't uh, search the internet as such, as in web browser searching. Now it is a finicky browser, but the initial use of it when you first open it, you can just search, click these um, microphone icon to voice search. I'll show you what that is. So it's uh, how did I find it? Was it? Voice web browser, I think. Let's try that. See what happens. That's it. PKRSS. That's what I've been using anyway. Uh, this one may work actually, I'm not sure. Well, I haven't tried that. Uh, but yeah, this one. As you can see, I'll open it for you so you can have a look at it. Um, so I've got the controller in my hand there. So if I tap, you have to tap it unfortunately still, but if I tap the Google, what it does, it brings up this little menu here and just tap the name that you've just searched for and boom. Uh, how you go from here on, I think you basically cancel what you've just done, so you press back button, which I've pressed too many times. <laughs> So let's do this. YouTube. Tap it again. And then you, it brings you to a search through Google and you just tap on the Once inside, I don't think you can do any more voice searching, but for the initial search in the browser, it might save time for you. Right, I press back. It goes that. Now you have to keep reopening it, which I don't like. I'm going to try this one now just while. I'm recording this for you and see what happens with this. I'm just looking for, you know, there's voice web browser 2 there. I wonder if that one's any better. Let's have a look. So I'll install this for Android where it probably won't work on Android TV or that and that. But we'll try it. We'll try them both actually. Could do on that. Voice of Brazil 
So I'll try that one. Google. Then hit go on Google. Ah, and it remains at the top this time, so IMDB. seems to be working within this I, I think it only searches you know the search engine which is the address bar here is based around the Google search engine by the look of it so unless you can alter those settings let's just have a look ah speech web content uh, English system Google text to speech uh, English for me obviously but um, what's this system network Try it on network, let's see what happens there. English United States. Is it ah English United Kingdom, there we go. English UK. Okay, let's try that. Can I hit the I'm just gonna see if the actual button works rather than pressing. No, it disables it on your control. Google. to make an omelette just for a <laughs> so basically yeah I mean look at that that's pretty easy uh, mod it YouTube <laughs> in fact mod 1t YouTube Anyway, although it's going to pull it really funny. Nah. Let's try it again. M O D 1 T YouTube. Speech recognition demo. Alright, so is it playing me up now, is it? Press back. <laughs> M O D one T Mod one key. YouTube. I wonder if it works by O Open YouTube. No, it just does a search, it doesn't. It? Yeah, you get the gist of that. It's, uh, it's excellent. It's web browser too. Let's try the smartwatch version now. Let's see what happens with that. So if I press escape enough times, I should. Ah, now we get an exit option. Press it twice. Fuck off. There we go. We got that. Sorry for the language, but uh, it's something you'll have to put up with me. I swear a lot. <laughs> um. <coughs> Down to the phone, where's the phone one that I had just? Uh, ah, there it is, look. <coughs> Some paid for shit. Um, well, bollocks to that, because I'm not paying for it. Paid enough for everything else. Uh, it's not looking uh, great on that front, you know. I think we'll abandon that, but yeah, the um, voice web browser 2, that's the one that you want to try and use. Uh, 
unless somebody can come up with a better idea, but yeah, this is a modded sign there.